Zangie, aren't you going to talk? How do you feel about Joni? Do you dig her? Do you dig girls? Yeah, we'd like to know you a little better. Some of the people in this room are dope addicts. They've gone all the way. This is where they come after they've been there. Those who aren't dope addicts are actors. I'm Chuck Connors, one of the actors. You think this is some sort of game? Hmm? We're trying to save your life, Zanke. <laughs> but you never did talk straight, did you? You've never said one word from your gut, have you? Hey, hey, hey! All right, let's break this thing up. All of us, both addicts and actors, have been spending a lot of the last few weeks in this house on a California beach. It's called Sinanon. We're making a movie here. This new movie, like everything about Sinanon, is already a subject of controversy. After all, when you set up a bunch of dope addicts in what was once a beach resort hotel, people are going to ask questions. One of those who asked a lot of questions was Edmund O'Brien, who portrays Sinanon's founder, Chuck Diedrich, in the film. O'Brien spent days with Diedrich, studying his personality and learning everything there was to know about the operation of Sinanon. The characters in the screenplay are typical of the case histories at Sinanon. Stella Stevens plays a swinger who's broken every rule of society. Stella and all the other actors learned about it firsthand from people who have lived that way and about Sinanon from the same people, the people who live here now. Turnabout is fair play. I'm coaching two of the Sinanon members who play themselves in the film. Those guys catch on fast. Richard Quine, director of the movie, is using every corner of Sinanon and most of its people as an integral part of this story. He wants it real. A new kind of movie star makes his debut in Sinanon. He's Alex Cord, ex-rodeo rider. Alex and Stella Stevens are rehearsing their roles. Two young addicts who suddenly come together in Sinanon with the kind of voracious appetite that had been satisfied before only by narcotics. Their clandestine love affair rocks this community of social outcasts. In Sinanon, there are no secrets, no place to hide. I've seen you taking care of this dope fiend. Boy, you are the queen mother. Huh. Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> what do you want to bring that up again for? Everybody's heard it 200 times. So they'll hear it once more. The same old pattern. For people who have tried everything, shame has no meaning. Now, Joni is free to swing a little with a new Dauphine boyfriend. But you have one great problem. Your husband doesn't make enough money to support both your habits, you and your boyfriend. The best thing to do is to swallow a lot of pills, huh? <laughs> you failed at that, too. So you go back on the streets and find yourself some new friends. By the time you get back here, you're so sick you don't even remember your name. Did you? Well, did you? No, I didn't, okay? I didn't, I didn't! No one has ever made a dramatic motion picture inside the house where dope addicts gather to take care of each other. There's never been a place where people who've gone so far beyond the...